Healthy Northland, making the healthy choice the easy choice. Good morning, first graders. Happy Apple Crunch Day. Yay! You all have fresh apples from Bayfield, Wisconsin. Oh, I see some broccoli. Our overarching theme here is healthy minds, healthy bodies, healthy lifestyles, one step at a time. And so we really feel that the kids really need to look at what they're putting into their body, how they're taking care of their body, how they're exercising their mind, and all of that comes full circle. I think in the elementary schools, uh, you probably have the greatest impact uh, because those children have kind of grown up with it. Hi. We really try to um, talk about you know, what food we have that's grown locally and then how we can help each other by purchasing and eating foods that, that is produced locally. If we grow up from here, we support local farmers and therefore you keep money in the economy. Uh, it's also important because if you have to ship something from California in like a plane or a truck, it sets off emissions and it's just not good, has good for the environment. Research shows that students who are involved with growing a food and understanding where that comes from are more likely to then eat the, the produce and eat the, the fruits and vegetables. With farm to school initiatives, research shows that we are increasing the um, servings that kids are eating by one. Our child nutrition department is there to encourage and expose kids to new foods. We encourage them to try all the whole grains. We encourage them to try the fresh produce. We have everything from pineapple to Bayfield apples to uh, zucchini, kohlrabi sticks. We're hanging out at the farm with a bunch of seventh grade students who are pretty amped to be out here. They're doing great work at UMD here and like the kids yesterday harvesting squash and we told them the students are gonna be eating this later this week. Like you help feed college students. I'm like, wow. So far we've harvested um, a bunch of um, squash and cucumbers and it's been really fun. Bringing them out to a sustainably managed farm is a great opportunity to open their world up and show them how their food is not just an object, but a process. The hands-on element and being having the fun engagement really is where you have the learning and getting the connections with the students. So wouldn't it be cool if your school lunches could have Carrots from northern Minnesota like this. Oh, yeah. So it's cool. I would be good. It's, it's cool to, it's like, to eat this stuff. It's, it's cool to think about how, how far it's come yeah. and how much work people put into, put into it. it just how to bring big it to us. Yeah. Isn't it's like all this stuff organic? Yeah. It truly is just one giant science experiment uh, because you put the seeds in and you wait to see what might happen. There's a lot of potatoes, tomatoes, cucumbers, beans, peas. Um, there's some squash. I think the kids really enjoy all of the fresh produce we get, whether it's from the school garden or the Bayfield apples, you know, or something that's Minnesota grown. It's just so much more eye appealing than canned green beans. I was digging up potatoes, found lots of worms. Pretty much my whole shirt got wet. Well, I think the science shows that um, farm to school programs can increase kids' willingness to try fruits and vegetables because they know where their food comes from. And it seems like doing that at a young age could have some lasting health effects if you're more willing to try fruits and vegetables in the future. It's pretty cool to think of what this might, what fruit this activity might be bearing 20 years from now. It's good for everybody. You know, it's good for the economy, it's good for the students, it's good for the parents. You know, everybody wants to support local business. That's just smart. Changing our food and agricultural systems or our energy systems um, are technical issues, but even more than that, they're cultural issues. They're issues of practice, and we need to understand how and why we utilize energy and food in the way we do and what the consequences of that are and provide the default options, the easier choices that can add up to a more sustainable community, a healthier community, and a community that um, is more populated by small-scale entrepreneurs, all of which um, create um, a, a more inclusive, healthier community. Healthy Northland, 
making the healthy choice the easy choice.